So what's different about MFOX, uh, particularly based on other battle management or mission command systems, is they used to just do one thing, and that was battle management. Show you your map, and like in your car, where you have a GPS that shows you where you're going. You know, a battle management system or mission command system at the platform level shows you not just where you are, but where all your buddies are in the battlefield. I can see the tank to my left, the tank to my right, the aviation or UAVs that are flying in the airspace that I'm operating in, my artillery assets, my electronic warfare assets, all those sorts of assets I can now see and helps with situational awareness on the battlefield. But what's different besides providing that capability, which we've done uh, for, for over a decade uh, of combat uh, around the world, um, we're now providing other sorts of capabilities in the same uh, claim space. So now we do voice, data, and video in the same box. So now we can take, well, it used to take eight different boxes on a platform in our command post and put it in a one, or maybe two, depending on what the commander's needs are or the leader's needs of that particular platform. And also power, when you look at vehicles and how vehicles are challenged with power, particularly for command posts on the move that a brigade commander or a battalion commander might be using. So one of the key things about that MFOX enables, both from the MFOX 1 that's already fielded and the MFOX 2, which is backward compatible to that, is it's going to give the Army a quick win. The Army's looking for quick wins. And we already have a very powerful computing system. In this case, it's upgunned with a Xeon processor and other capabilities with, where you can eliminate these other boxes and displays and control everything from one piece of glass. I think one of the key things that, that uh, we're bringing to the Warfighter that's an enhanced capability that we provide now, but is really enhanced and given the way the world is today, just in general and particularly on the battlefield, uh, but that uh, has to do with cyber defense. So one of the things we're doing is we're bringing per, uh, enhanced cyber capability that doesn't just protect the, the system itself, in this case the MFOX computer or tablet or whatever the soldier's using, but we can use that capability on a platform to protect the entire platform itself. So some sort of outside uh, uh, capability that you don't want in there that could be bad for you uh, can be protected. So that's a key thing that we're bringing. I think another thing that we bring is uh, MFOX brings a coalition and interagency uh, inter um, joint capability of where we can rapidly um, interface with our coalition partners because many of them are using the system. For example, the Australian Army has put the, the MFOX system on their M1 tank very similar way we do ours. Now they may use a different battle management software for that, they're using different transport layer for radios, uh, but essentially it's the same thing, and in this case we have the, a common cyber and security protection as an example that we can share when we go into operations all over the world, whether it's peacetime or wartime.